YouTube, YouTube, what's good? This is your boy 247, one half, Exotic Frenchie Boutique. I'm back in the building with another one, and I'm tired as hell, baby. But hey, hey, look, man, let's get it. Hey, man, get your brothers and sisters. Uh, peace out. Peace out, y'all. Peace out, y'all. Come on. Come here. Come here. All right, y'all. This is me the last day here. Everything for my boy Allen, man. Only thing I did forget was I didn't grab him a bag of food, but I'm going to get him right, though. But, uh, yeah, folder, everything in there. Nala here. Mila here, I mean. Mila right there running around. We about to let her go say peace out to her, her mama. And uh, we out. All right, Taco. Taco, your little sister leaving. Bruce, your little niece leaving. Whoa, chill out. Come on, Tutu. You say peace out to your baby. Maybe one day you'll see her again. Say bye-bye. She happy, too. She don't. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, cause we running late. We running late. Come on. All right, Tutu, go back to your cage. Go ahead, go to your cage. Tsunami, cage. I gotta go. Tsunami, go to your cage. Thank you. Gonna get on up there, huh? Look, y'all, it's 5 16 a.m. Mila is going crazy. We're going to drop off a pup. Hold on, let me put myself my safety belt on. Uh, Mila's going crazy. She's in the carrier right now. This is probably like her third time in the carrier. Um, I do try to put them inside the carrier a couple days before I know they're gonna have to be on the airplane, but um. This girl right here is just, uh, yeah, she ain't, she's not feeling it. It, it. She just ain't feeling it. But we got about, we got about a 45 minute drive to the airport. So I'm about to jump on the highway and hit it. Already got the coffee. We made it y'all, we here. Got everything ready. Um. Mila was cool. Mila was cool for the ride. You know what I'm saying? So we about to get in here, get her checked in. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of rushing, so I'm going to get back with y'all. I got to get my little, you know what I mean? I had to put the, I had to put the blockers on real quick because you know you know what's going on. Uh, so let's get her checked in. She going crazy right now. Hey, baby, I'm right here. I'm right here. All right, y'all. Mila got her boarding pass. For those that want to know, it's $95. And uh, yeah, we got clear, so let's get it shaking. Line ain't too long. Eh. We early anyway, so we Gucci. All right, Ty, we made it through. We actually early, so shoot, we Gucci. I ain't hungry, too early to eat. I'm about to just probably let Mila get out the joint, probably hold her in my lap, I ain't gonna put her on the ground. Uh, of course, you know, there's too many germs and all of that. But um, besides that, I'll probably just hold her in my lap, let her get out the carrier, change her pad, and just let her, you know what I'm saying, relax a bit before we get on the plane and she gotta be stuck in the carrier for like, I think the first flight is like three hours. Then we got a layover. Then the next flight is like three hours. So, yeah, let's get it, baby.
small personal item that must fit underneath the seat in front of you, such as a purse, a computer bag, or a briefcase. Today, once again, I'd like to welcome you to flight 1165 with service to Minneapolis. Boarding will begin at 7.05 through doorway marked B19. Alright y'all, so we made it, first plane landed. I believe we are in Minnesota. We in <clears throat> My air is like, oh. We in Minnesota. Hey look, Mila did, boy, I can't even believe how good she did. I thought she was gonna give me problems or whatnot. But she didn't make not one sound on the plane. Like she I I, I crashed out. She crashed out. I woke up, she was still asleep. So I was like, shit, this is Gucci. Uh so I'm about to find somewhere to let her get out, stretch, um, hopefully use the bathroom, hopefully eat something, because our next flight is three hours, so, man, you know. But hey, let's see. And then my air still ain't freaking pop, so, you know. I'm actually trying to debate right now if I'm gonna go outside. Let me see how they lines looking. I mean, it's fucking Minnesota. They, they shouldn't be packed. Uh, so I'm probably going to go outside. You already know what for. Hopefully it's not too cold, though. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Because um, I don't have a blanket for the pup. But neither's right here, y'all. You can't see her. But we dug it, man. We on our way, Alan. Wow, I can't. I can't fucking believe how cold it is over here. God damn. So this ain't gonna last long because I can't have a pup getting cold. It is nothing like this one. Oh, we. Oh, gotta go. So, y'all, we might be all right. Just look. So, you know, the pup right there. She all right. It's that he was beaming. So, I feel a little bit better now. I'm trying to get my little thug on boy minnesota's cold so for those that's gonna ask how you fly with a dog you basically just need to get to the airport about an hour early go to whatever airline it is that you're flying with check in the dog it's gonna cost between i paid 120 before with american and then delta was 99. Uh, those are the only two airlines i fly with check in they'll make you weigh the dog if the dog is bigger bigger they'll make sure that the dog dog is able to turn around inside the carrier if the dog can turn around inside the carrier you good to go that's it simple as that baby hey man make sure y'all like comment subscribe subscribe share boy i'm so tired all the good stuff go watch some old videos man you already know me me look, popping her head out when i tell y'all y'all it's warm right here she's good trust me if if i thought she was cold i wouldn't be out here not for one bit but she's gucci as you can see. Cause that heat right there, boy. It's nice. Mila. Hey baby. Oh yeah, you know what that is, baby. Purple rain. Purple rain. Let me see who I want to get signed up out of here. Let me see what they prices look at. Ooh, thirty-six dollars for ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, let's check this place out. Let me see if she gotta go though. Shit. All right, I don't really know if that's the smartest thing to do. I'm not gonna let her down in there. It's 
smells. I know it's been thousands of dogs in there. And I don't even want to risk nothing happen to her, her catching anything or getting sick. So we going to pass on that one. I'd rather her pee her little thing. I just change the pad. We call it a day. Early at 12.22 p.m. and now it's local time. So even if we get out of the gate here just a couple minutes early, we should be anticipating an on-time arrival or very close to it in Reno. All right, y'all. Me and Mila, we made it, baby. Hey, man, look. We was the only thing with color on that plane, boy. I don't know. I don't know what they got going on out here in Reno, baby. But we made it. This man, she did. She did awesome. No poop. No pee. No 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 noises. No squirming around. She understood the assignment. Ain't that right, Mila? So now we're going to get the baggage claim, go find my boy, Allen. Look, though, check this out, though, y'all. I just want to give a big shout out, a big thank you um, to my boy, Allen, man. Because, like, look, he locked in with me when we didn't even have a lit. We didn't even have no available pups. He locked in with me, waited patiently, wasn't all crazy caught. Man, look, bro, I appreciate you. I got your pup right here, man. You know, he had the first pick. Bro, when I tell you that's major, bro, I didn't even have a little on the ground, bro. Boy dropped the deposit with me, trusted in me and my camp and my lady. And, man, I really appreciate that. So, salute to you, my boy. All right, though, now it's time to get you to your, your new owner. I think you know what's going on. Hey, look, though, y'all, this is like, this is like always bittersweet because it's like, man, you spend so much time raising and nurturing and bringing up the pup and just taking care of it and developing a certain type of bond, if, if you want to call it that. And it's like, damn, now you got to go and I won't really see you no more. Man, I just love my dogs, man. That's really it. But I know she's going to a, to a really good home um alan and his girl so you know man it is what it is but yeah this is a very bittersweet sweet moment though but i mean i guess this is what i what i'm in this for to get get these fire fringies out the fire homes and that's what we're doing so it's out of friendship boutique baby well i guess it's safe to say I'm gonna be at somebody's casino tonight getting my gamble on. I don't even know what Alan look like. Let me go find Alan. Let me hit him up, cause I don't even know what Alan looks like. Boy, I can't wait to see him, cause I know he gonna be, he can't wait to see me. We can't wait to see each other. I got, what's this? Boy, precious artwork. That was an easy answer. All right, let's go see where he at. He said he at the door. Let's go find him. Let's see if we could find. Found the other. Oh, there we go, my boy. All right, man. Here we. Hey, look, man. Now this is love right here. I even got. They even brought me some food, man. I can't even. I. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna get back with y'all. Ah, uh, YouTube, this is my boy Alan, man. I was telling y'all about his lady. I know she don't want to be on the camera, so I ain't going to get her, but I'm going to get my boy Alan, because he's fresh to death anyway. So we're going to show my boy. He came up, dropped the bag on me. I told y'all he trusted in me from the very beginning. And this pretty girl right here, and I delivered. And I hope that they have a, a very, very successful breeding program with, not, with, with Mila. And uh, yeah, man, exotic French boutique, baby. We out. All right, y'all. I'm gonna find my car right quick. Hey, look, man, I can't be more ha bro. I couldn't be more happier with that, with that. Uh, I don't want with that transaction. We'll find my car. Uh, we got night in Reno, so you already know it's about to go down. It's about to get some tanky something going on. Now nah, I probably hit the casino, get some food. But um, again, shout out to my boy Allen, man. When he get his page up and running, I'm gonna make sure I'll be adding it so y'all can go follow my boy. boy 
and stay stay posted on on baby Mila. Uh, man, I can't even be more happier with with uh oh that's my car right there. I keep walking by. I couldn't even be more happier with that pro with that transaction, man. That was a good drop off. Um, oh, they gave me the drop top. I'm right here. All right, man. They got your boy in this, man. It ain't no challenger, man. But it's going to do. It's going to do. Bro, they even bought me food. I can't even get over that. You know, I was on the airplane looking like, what the hell I'm going to eat in Reno, Nevada? And they brought me food. I hope I hope it's some good Spanish food or something like that. Hold on, y'all. Let me get up out of here. I got backup camera in there, ho. Ooh. All right, y'all. I'll probably, I'm going to wrap this video up because, you know, I ain't got no dog no more. I know y'all hear this for the dogs, not me, but nah. I'll probably drop a couple little clips of, of my day in Reno, you know what I'm saying, just to flip, fill the video up. But, uh, yeah, man, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, man. Hit that notification bell. And we out. So we got to find us a hotel to stay. I need a cheap hotel, but not too cheap. Uh, hold, let me. Now, hold, let me drop the top real quick. Let me figure this out. You know I ain't no convertible, nigga. Uh, oh, oh, there we go, baby. I'm in Reno. You think I ain't gonna drop the top in Reno? <laughs> you know why they gave me the drop top, right? Because they knew your boy was gonna burn this hole down. Because <laughs> you know... You know your boy. I came with my own treats. Hey, man, boobies. Make sure y'all go tap in. Uh, there's some other shit, but there's some new shit out. But yeah, man, you know I brought my own treats, man. It's actually really beautiful. Brought your boy. Oh, I will take a rap. In case y'all wondering what they brought me, my boy brought me a, a chicken wrap and some french fries, and I get to look at the beautiful view out there. They got sprouts. We like sprouts supermarket. They got good food in there, good organic stuff. But yeah, we're going to eat and we'll see what the hell we can get shaking out here in Reno. All right, y'all, so this is where we ended up at. This is the silver something. Boy, do it look 1993, janky, 1989, swanky in this bitch. But uh, I couldn't find nothing better, man. Man, they probably got mirrors on the ceiling. They got... <laughs> All right, man, this spot is old as heck, bro. This is like the Silver Diamond. What the hell is this place called? Silver Bullet? <laughs> it's the Silver Legacy. What the? Boy, I don't even want to show y'all the room. Okay, we got it. All right, y'all, so look, it's the next day. I missed my flight. I had a 5 a.m. flight. I don't even know why I scheduled a 5 a.m. flight. Um, yeah, so I'm still here. I'm about to actually get, get some coffee and get on up out of here and start heading down to the airport. But look, it turns out that I had a hell of a time here in Reno last night. I couldn't get much footage because my phone was going through some storage shit. I don't know what was going on, but boy, I had a good ass time. I had me a nice steak from Ruth Chris. Uh, I met a 65 year old white woman and we sat at Ruth Chris and we talked for about shit, three hours. Then we went and you know, and boy, she was just the coolest person, just a just a wonderful soul. Just a she actually made my evening. She really made my night unforgettable. As, as weird as that sounds, she was just such a good, genuine person that boy, we vibed so well. But besides that, I went to an Italian festival. Uh oh my god, boy. When you drink and you gambling. It's free drinks. I'm not used to that back on my side. You got to pay for the drink, especially 1942. They have free 1942. Hold on. Let me say Let me say that again. They have free 1942. Boy. So you already know it was lit. It was up. It was up, up. I'm talking about it was lit. 
right? So I gamble. I did my thing. I won a little couple five hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, yeah. So anyway, went to a fest. Uh, had free all 1942 you could have. The Italian fest was popping. This one lady was jamming on the harps. Her name was Kiki something. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to put it in, in here. Any clips I got, I'm going to just put them in here. Just, you know, I'm about to edit this video on the plane. Hopefully, I can get it dropped. Um, but, yeah, though. I, Reno's a really weird-ass place. The demographic of people is really weird. But everybody was nice. I, I, I got to say that. Everybody was nice. Everybody was polite. Everybody talked. Everybody was either interested in me or thought I was somebody. Well, I am somebody. I mean, but you know what I'm saying. But um, but my homie last night, Margie, she she's solid. Um, but yeah, though, so I'm gonna get my coffee, man, start making my way to the airport. I got one more, you know what I mean? I mean, I might even stop by a dispensary, see what the dispensaries is working with. But um, yeah, man, Reno, Reno turned out to be pretty damn fire, man. I, I can't even lie. But yeah, like I said, I went to the, oh, let me tell you this. I went to, uh, this could only happen in Reno. I went to an Italian festival, and I don't think I saw one Italian in that motherfucker. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't no Italians there, boy. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, hey, look, I was probably closest thing to an Italian in that dream. <laughs> hey, look at me. <laughs> but um, we about to go back. Back, uh, Exotic Fringy Boutique. Make sure you like, comment, share, hit that subscribe button, baby. Um, if you got Liz on the ground, congratulations. Make sure you take care of them dogs. Shout out to all my cousins. You know how we rock it, baby. This is day two of the Fringy drop off. Um, I missed my flight this morning, like I just said. So, you know, a lady, she tight. She is, she a little upset, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. We're gonna make it do what it do. Um, so yeah, man, I got gas up the whip, uh, get some food. I uh, got my coffee, get my other food in, and, you know, we we off to the airport, baby. I'm probably going to stop at the dispensary, though, so we'll see how time works, but yeah, man. Something else, too, that surprised me about Reno that I didn't expect. They have a lot of home. I know they everywhere. All right, so my phone keep cutting it off, so I, I got to get some more storage. But I just found the coolest spot to go drink my coffee, smoke, and get, just get my mind together real quick before I got to get on this flight. I'm going to show y'all, though. So it's just like a big-ass park slash man-made beach. Hold on. This is actually, this is actually really cool. How else you gonna get a beach in Nevada, right? Hey, you gotta make that shit. It's cool though. Bro, even the squirrels is nice in Nevada. What the fuck? Boy. Nah, don't don't get too close, man. I don't want you. Come on, come with me. I got something. Come fo follow me. Come on. Come on, follow me. Come on. Hey, look, if somebody ever tell you, come on, f follow me, don't follow their ass. <laughs> That's all I'm going to tell you. So from the Italian festival yesterday, I bumped into this this booth, uh, Pet Club 24-7. They had a bunch of uh, a bunch of really healthy and mar uh, marshmallows, excuse me, mushroom treats for pets. Um, you know, and these are some of the benefits. You know, no sugar, no chemicals, no byproducts, no carcinogens, no fillers, no allergens, no wheat, no corn, no soy. Provides natural support. So, you know, we had to cop some of, some of these. Uh, and then I also got a couple pouches of this stuff, which is like marshmallow peanut butter. Oh, no, not peanut butter. Excuse me. Sirloin steak sauce. But it's all natural. Um, you, I, maybe you could see immune system support so yeah y'all y'all go check them out pet 247 that's just like me 247 gas gang baby but um and i also got some other some other treats for my family my my, my lady and my kids oh we even got a monk out here with boots on that's how you know it's cool as hell out this bitch oh it's nice over there i can't really see that little it's pretty sweet Buddy down there sleeping. I told you, man, there's a lot of homeless people in.
buddy working out. It's just nice and cool and peaceful and quiet and so chill. This is this is pretty awesome. Big ass dogs. There go my buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. All right, so look, y'all, this is probably the cheapest dispensary I done been in. Uh, I went and got me some uppercuts by Tyson. Tyson's Ranch, Mike Tyson. I got my ladies a pre-roll. Uh, she, this right here, I've never heard of this brand, obviously, because it's a, it's a Reno brand, but she is a female girl. Obviously, she's a she. Um, and they said that this is supposed to be really, really good. And then, uh, you know, I got me some gummies. They would buy one, get one free. So we gonna knock them babies out on the plane, baby. But yeah, let's get it. That was, it was the cheapest I, bro, I spent $100. Boy, I can't even believe I got all that for $100. Thank you, Reno. So I don't know if y'all could see that in over there in the mountain. I just realized, damn, you can't even see it. So on all these little mountain peaks, it appears that they got like N, S for north, south, which is pretty cool. I guess lets you know what direction you had in, I guess. I think that that's what that's for. If you were, if you were in Reno, if you're in Reno, drop a comment. I know somebody in Reno beside my boy Allen gotta be watching this. If you're in Reno, drop a comment. All right, y'all, we down, be back downtown Vegas near my hotel. I'm about to try this Tyson's Ranch pre-roll. Man, Vegas got a lot of lost souls. I mean, excuse me, Reno. Reno got a lot of lost souls, man. I'm, I'm really so shocked at... All right, y'all, we back at the Italian Fest. Y'all let me know when y'all see one. Y'all see it in, in our town. What they got over here? Beef jerky. Freak show. Is this what's going on down here? These shirts pretty cool. Look, I'm just here for the finest, baby. Oh, Lord. Here's Savage. That was the Second Amendment take. Candles. Y'all, then when I tied it up, this motherfucker, man. You got the baby, got the Spanish niggas up here singing Italian love songs and shit, boy. My boy got the big ass suit on. Woo! <laughs> they rocking on, they rocking on stage, though. I can't hold you. They rocking. Y'all, we wrapping that up. Off to the airport we go. Hey, but look, y'all remember that show Reno 911? Now coming to Reno, it makes so much sense. Like, <laughs> it's this is such a peculiar place, but I loved it though. But boy, I, I get it now. And I freaking lost my Tyson's free roll. I don't know how I walked down the, walked down the festival, lost that. But uh, this one, the LP Exotics from Lady Grower boy pressure bruh long as you stay over there that's a big fuzzy furry joint too look long as you stay i'm gonna put the window down 
Cause you come in this bitch while we drive, while I'm, while I'm driving. Ooh, we about to turn this car upside down. Actually, we do need to get it out. <laughs> and you know I stopped. I'm not playing no games. Look at that bitch. Oh no. Boy, that shit look velvet. Ooh. All right. <laughs> hey, I got some freeze dry, some freeze dry Skittles too. I be seeing these on TikTok. I had to let my hair blow in the wind one more time. <laughs> one more time. You got at least got two joints that's gonna blow. Hold up. Ooh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Alright y'all, we almost home. Last stop in Atlanta. I had to come outside, man, because I got there and missed my flight. It wasn't my fault though. My last plane from in the from Minnesota or whatever the fuck it's coming from was late. So when we got here to Atlanta, I missed the Atlanta flight. But look, this look pretty cool out here, look. But yeah, though. So we got some, yeah. I'm ready to get home, man. I'm tired as hell. Yeah. Take that with you too, man. All right, y'all. I made it back to DC. And of course, I was quickly reminded because everybody here is fucking rude as shit. Um, and it just wasn't like that over there in Reno. But anyways, um, you know what to do, baby. All right, y'all, we back. It's cold as hell out here. But look, this is the tip of the day. I'm going to leave with this. Do things by yourself. Go places by yourself. Experience things by yourself. Yeah, it's always cool when you got company or you got someone else. But it's a big, it's a different point of view, a different state of mind that you're in when you're doing things by yourself, when you Getting to know yourself when you're meeting other people by yourself. Just do things by yourself. Get at one. Even if you just got to go take a walk in the park. Go go to hug some trees. Go just walk around. Enjoy life by yourself.